I've announced only yesterday that you're becoming a pundit. Congratulations on that. Yeah. yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. It'll be a great asset. Henry, besides you, has been doing it for a couple of years. Have you any advice for Colin? Well, the first piece of advice I'd say to him is just stay away from Joe Brawley. Don't sit beside <laughs> Joe Brawley. <laughs> But, uh, no, I, you know, I, I know from talking to Colin and meeting him at different functions, he just wants to talk about the game and he's passionate for the game. And I think if you be yourself on television, that's all you can be, you know. So, yeah. really looking forward to his great addition. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah, I am. To be fair, it's, it's going to be on the other side, I suppose. Um, sometimes we, we, we criticise pundits as players. and um, So, I'll see it from the other side now. And, look, I, I, I analyse all matches I play in and I watch matches every weekend. So... Hopefully it's going to be a good fit and I'll, I'll enjoy it. And have you spoken to Joe Brawley yet? I haven't spoken to Joe. I haven't, <laughs> haven't even seen him, but I'm sure it'll be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward yeah, to that. Uh, <laughs> because he even criticised what people were saying about you after you retired. Uh, yeah, but look, I think Joe, Joe, Joe likes to sensationalise things a little bit, whether it's good, bad. And I think he particularly gets enjoyment out of... Uh, having a little pop of Kerry every now and again because the, the people of Kerry bite back all the time and I think that plays into Joe's barrel so um, he's, he's, it's going to be fun working with him Right